Hi, I'm Kate Jarawa, Product Marketing Manager in Goland. In this short video, we will have a look at what's new in Goland 2018.3. Meet the newest member of the refactorings family. Change signature refactoring. It gives you many ways to modify a function, method or method specification signature in just a few clicks. You can easily change their names and add, remove, reorder and rename parameters. The refactoring preview pane helps make sure that every change in your code is safe. It lets you explore the results before they are applied and discard the change if anything goes wrong. When you refactor a method specification, Goland even asks you if you want implementations to be updated as well. This release improves the debugger in many different ways. Starting from this version of Goland, you can run and debug Google App Engine applications locally. Before you start, make sure to download and install the Google Cloud SDK for App Engine. If no project is currently open in Goland, click New Project on the welcome screen, choose App Engine Project Template, and then select the location for your project and the SDK you want to use. Otherwise, select File New Project App Engine. As a result, you will have a ready-to-go project that contains app.yaml with the default configuration settings and a mango file with a basic request handler. Starting to debug an application is also pretty easy. Put a breakpoint, click the debug button, and then open the app in the browser. The debugger tab will show all the necessary debugging info and available actions. Since its release, Golan supports the test by test framework. The IDE now lets you run suites and methods as regular test functions right from the editor. For your convenience, the output pane of the test runner tab offers a link that opens the comparison failure window, which can help explore the difference between the expected and actual values for failed assertions. Sometimes standard debugging instruments fail to help you to understand what's wrong with the code. This is where code dumps come to the rescue. Goland makes exploring these dumps a lot easier by letting you do that without any third-party tools. All you need is to choose Open Core Dump in the Run menu. Core Dumps allow you to look under the hood of your program while it's in a very specific state. Additionally, you can tell Goland to create crash dumps automatically. You need just to tune your run configuration a little. Please note that core dumps are available only on Linux machines. However, you can analyze memory dumps on any flavor of macOS and Windows. In addition, the debugger provides code completion, inspections, and quick fixes for the evaluate expression dialog and the watchers panel. A new inspection Unhandled error alerts you to functions or methods that return an error whenever the error isn't being checked. Unreachable code inspection detects parts of code that can never be executed. The new generate constructor generates functions for creating values of the struct type. Generate getter and setter intention actions now create boilerplate code and allow customization of pointer or non-pointer receiver type and its name. A new add format string argument intention action is available to help you generate a placeholder for any provided expression via a pop-up. It inserts a placeholder into a format string and passes the expression as an argument for the placeholder. Goland adds method-like completion for functions.
As you work with Go templates, enjoy code completion, find usages, the rename refactoring, and improved code formatting. The new GitHub pull request tool window shows all pull requests from GitHub with their descriptions, current labels, changed files, and assignees.